A serial bomber is terrorizing the residents of Austin, Texas. Three package bomb explosions have killed two people and injured three others. The first package exploded March 2nd, killing a 39-year-old man. The second and third packages both exploded yesterday, killing a 17-year-old boy and wounding two women. Boy went out to his front porch, picked a package up, brought it into the kitchen with his mom. It blew up, killing him. The second package exploded uh, just a few hours later, about five miles from the site of the first. This time, it was a 75-year-old woman. She stepped outside, picked up a package, and it exploded on her porch. She survived, but she is in critical condition. Police don't know if the victims are specifically being targeted yet. However, the stepfather of the man killed on March 2nd is close friends with the ga- grandfather of the 17-year-old killed in uh, the first explosion yesterday. Both men, one a retired pastor, the other a dentist, are well known in the black community. Police are not ruling out this as a potential hate crime. The two victims have been black and one was Hispanic. Austin's interim police chief told the media that police see similarities among the three explosions. They believe they are related. Austin police are warning residents, don't touch any suspicious packages. (laughs) How many times do you come home and there's packages on your doorstep? You don't even know what it is. I mean, you're getting so many, at least we are because of Amazon. We get so many things from Amazon that I don't know what the hell it is. Oh, it's soap. Oh, it's a bomb. So far, police have not released any information about the suspects or the motivation. They do not believe the attacks are tied to the South by Southwest Music and Media Conference that is going on now in Austin. Investigators also don't believe the packages were delivered by the post office or other delivery services. They appear to have been left on people's doorsteps overnight. Our governor, great governor of the great state of Texas, Governor Greg Greg Abbott, announced $15,000 reward for any information leading to an arrest. And we keep our fingers crossed that we saw the last two yesterday. The explosions are tragic. The FBI will catch the vicious murderer behind them. In light of the other recent tragedy that has dominated the national conversation, it's apparent in this case that packages are just as dangerous But you'll notice nobody's really covering this one. And nobody's saying we have to do something. Packages are killing people. It's not the package. It's the person behind them.